There's a Harvard Business Review called Connect Then Lead. It states they did a lot of research on thousands and thousands of leaders and salespeople. And what they found is that the two most important traits of top leaders and salespeople for influence are competency and empathy. But the order matters. I'm going to share a, a quick little story with you. My husband decided to trade in what we lovingly called his shopping cart of a vehicle. He called the sales guy and made an appointment. And as we're driving down, he looks at me and he says, now listen, no matter what he says, no matter what the price is, we're not buying anything today. You got that? I said, I, I got it. So we get to the car dealership. Out comes this sort of middle-aged silver-haired guy. He takes one look at my husband and he says, Lee Gerstein, it is so amazing to meet you. He said, I hope you don't mind. I looked you up on LinkedIn. I like to know a little bit about the people I'm gonna serve. And he said, I see that you're the past president for the National Ability Center and my own son has autism. He said, I just wanna thank you for the work that you do. My husband's eyes just <laughs> lit up, right? <laughs> they go into Jared's office and they start talking about autism research, about cures. This goes on for 25, 35 minutes. We stand up, we're walking to go out on the car lot. We haven't even seen a truck. My husband looks at me and he says, I think he has what we need here. <laughs> Here's the thing, Jared had the competency for trucks. Jared knew about all the different models. He knew about the horsepower. He probably knew the future of self driverless trucks. But he knew something much more important. He knew my husband, Lee. And that's why you may want to write this one down. Trust is built of five components, but it's empathy that gets you in the door. It's reliability, competency, integrity, and vulnerability that keep you there. But you have to lead with empathy. Both are equally important. You need to know your product, you need to know your people. But here's the thing, before people decide what they think of your message, they decide what they think of you. Don't ever forget that.